Marissa, yeah. where do you always go? to get cool. The coast, of course, that's where we're looking at cooler temperatures again today. This weekend, it might have been a great place to go, even though it wasn't that hot, especially on Sunday where we saw some cooler temperatures. Now, this weather picture actually sent in from Hasita Beach, uh, sent in from Lilac Hunter. You can see this was taken during low tide, so kind of creating some cool features in the sand. But also, if you take a look out over the ocean, you can see that hazy layer right near the horizon. That's actually the clouds with the marine layer. Now, that moves back out over the ocean during the daytime hours then pushes inland overnight and that's why we're looking at those clouds to start along the coastline but once again those clouds will push back out over the ocean once we get later into the afternoon. Now if you have a weather picture you can head over to my Facebook page or you can head to KEZI.com. Just click on the weather tab then head to the bottom right corner of the screen where you see those fall leaves and submit your weather picture. We like to see anything to do with weather or you getting outside and enjoying the weather so feel free to send in your weather pictures. Now let's take a look at our current conditions this morning in Eugene. We're starting off at 51 degrees, dew point at 48, visibility at 10 miles. Now there is a few high clouds out there, but those will move on out. We're looking at mostly sunny skies once we get into the afternoon. Along the coast this morning in North Bend, we're at 50 uh, degrees right now, dew point at 50 also, but visibility down to four miles, indicating we are looking at some low clouds out there. But once again, that's all part of that marine layer as that recedes out over the ocean. Those clouds are going to move uh, with it there, and we'll see some more sunshine once we get into the afternoon. Here's a look at temperatures across the rest of the area right now. A chilly start in both Newport and Corvallis, where we're looking at those 40s. Everywhere else starting in the 50s, west of the Cascades. Moving into the Cascades, Mackenzie Bridge starting off at 53 degrees. Odell Lake at 50. Lapine and Bend, though, also starting off chillier in the upper 40s right now. But we'll see our temperatures climb as we head into the afternoon, back near average for this time of year. Now, across the state, you can see where those clouds are. We're also getting a few high clouds working their way into southwestern Oregon there. We'll see plenty of sunshine though in between those clouds. These are just some very high clouds out there. Central and eastern Oregon seeing plenty of sunshine to start off their morning. That sunrise uh, just right about now or so. Here's a look at what we have going on big picture wise. There's that low pressure system out over the, over the Pacific Ocean. Now we don't have to worry about this. We're just looking at the jet stream that's focused over our area and it is bringing some breezy conditions yet again today. Wind gusts can be anywhere from about 15 to 20 miles per hour inland. So here's how the weather pattern is going to go. There is that low pressure system out over the Pacific Ocean. This is going to stay like this for today and tomorrow. Now we move into uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. What we're going to see is the upper level low that is in western Canada. It's going to strengthen a bit, dip down into our area and then kind of park itself over uh, our area once we get into Wednesday through the rest of the week. Now this low isn't going to bring us heavy amounts of rainfall. It's not going to be like a winter storm. What it is going to do though is increase the clouds across the area and and also bring us a chance for a few thunderstorms once we get into the mountains and central Oregon. Once again, that happens on Wednesday. Along the coast this afternoon, looking at those low 60s, partly sunny skies, and that's pretty much what we're going to see over the week ahead. As we head into the Amcoa Basin, mid 80s today, mostly sunny skies as well. We move into the next couple of days. That's pretty much where we're going to stay as well. More sunshine as we get into next weekend. For the Cascades, low 70s over the passes, upper 70s in the foothills. Central Oregon looking at temperatures back near 80 degrees. Plenty of sunshine today and for the next couple of days. We'll just have a slight chance for a thunderstorm Wednesday and Thursday. For the Valley Highs today, back into the low 80s, and that's pretty much where we're going to be through the week ahead. We'll just see a few more clouds with that upper level low on Wednesday and Thursday.